This video is brought to you by Currently. Save time by skipping the wait at a charging station. Currently delivers charging to your car, your home, the office, wherever you want it. Download the app and use promo code out of spec and get 30 days of free charging delivery. Hello and welcome to another out of spec reviews video and welcome to the craziest charging station in the world. This is truly insane. I can't wait to take you on a full tour of this Sortimo fast charging park. I'm going to tell you everything I've learned about it. I've done some research online. I'll leave some links in the description so you can learn about even more of this stuff. This is truly insane. It's the future. I can't wait to take you on a full tour. You guys will be totally blown away. <laughs> You join me just outside of Augsburg, which is a city in between Stuttgart and Munich. And this is a very popular run at nighttime, almost fully de-restricted so you could really hammer. And um, just an absolutely amazing fast charging park, literally right off of the Autobahn. But a lot more is done here. So Sortimo is a known name in sort of the automotive industry. They have been producing parts and innovations for vehicles for years. And we happened to randomly stumble across their new fast charging park just randomly the other day when we were filming the Skoda Enyaq review. So I'm standing pretty far away because it's just so huge and there's chargers everywhere. So I'm gonna start sort of at the entrance and you can walk up with me to see how this whole thing's laid out. But I really think this is sort of the first of many to come as long as we can figure out a business model for this stuff. But I'm just glad this is here. I can't wait to show you around. Literally the craziest charging station I've ever been to. It's, I am, you guys know I love this stuff. A lot of our trip in Europe here is all about filming infrastructure and comparing it to the US. And my goodness, this just blows my mind. So when arriving, you come off of the Autobahn, you come through this sign, and then you drive down this little road. Now, initially what you do is you come across these chargers over here on the left, and it's a bank of, I don't know how many, I wanna say there's over 70 DC fast charging pins here. And these are 35 kilowatt DC fast chargers. What's interesting is all of the hardware here is provided by a company called E-Loaded. And these units are just the craziest things I've ever seen. So you can see they're type two right here, fully water cooled, I believe as well. So CCS type two, simple little charging handle. They're bendy as well. So if you want to, for example, you know, stretch it to a car, you can just push it a little bit like this and it'll make it. It's really neat. Each one has this numbered tag and I'll show you why you need that number tag. It's for charger activation. Um, but what's also really interesting about these 35 kilowatt ones, well, first off, it's really useful because so many people don't need to crazy, crazy fast charge. And we're gonna get into the crazy fast charging just over this way. But, um, you know, if you come here, there's a cafe inside, <laughs> so much to show you, of course, you don't always need super fast charging. So 35 kilowatts, if you're gonna be here for a couple hours, sure, why not take the cheaper electricity? This is 45 cents, Euro cents per kilowatt hour at 35 kilowatts. All of these units are technically capable of 140, 150 kilowatts, and those can be updated through a charging application where you can then up the charging power to about 140-ish kilowatts through an app. So more to show you, let's walk on over this way. As you approach and you come down this road, you'll see some more of this fast charging park, which is just absolutely insane. The building is beautiful. Uh, really great architecture design. These units right here are actually also DC fast chargers coming down from the roof and they are massive big boy chargers. 300 kilowatt maximum here from the roof. That one all the way on the end that they're working on over there, 420 kilowatt DC fast chargers. Also version three, 250 kilowatt Tesla superchargers there in the back. Here's my little iways. This is the U5. It's a Chinese electric car. It actually seems really nice. And because I stopped in here and got some lunch and I'm filming a video, I decided to put it on the 35 kilowatt charger because I don't need crazy fast charging right now. And guess what? I've been here for about two hours. It's still not totally topped up. It's getting there, but it's exactly what I kind of needed for this um, for this charging session right here. A whole nother row of 35 kilowatt fast chargers. Excuse some of the noise in the back. Just absolutely insane. And 
300 kilowatt ones right here. Now this is the E-loaded unit. They actually, I believe, have a grassy patch on top if you have them as a standalone. And then the charging handles come down from the roof and then you can see you can pull up. Now there's four handles that come down from the roof. What I'm not totally sure of is if these are uh, load shared or not. My understanding is that they're not actually load shared, but someone can correct me if I'm wrong. You can see they're labeled here again, just type two CCS, same connections, but they come all the way up into the ceiling here, which is just totally insane. You pay a little bit more for 300 kilowatt charging, 59 cents per kilowatt hour. And what's interesting too, in terms of their pricing, if I had plugged into the 35 kilowatt charger, by the way, that's a plug-in hybrid Mercedes, those do have CCS chargers. So don't comment about that guy. He's all good, um, which is wild that most plug-in Mercedes do have uh, CCS connections. If I had plugged in here at you know low states of charge like I did and said, oh, actually lunch was really quick. I need to get going. I can then boost these to 140 kilowatts like I mentioned. And then I just pay the new price, 59 cents per kilowatt hour. I do wanna show you their Supra charger. If we head on over this way, it's a really cool little spot, some work being done here. And it's all covered under the fast charging area. So you're not gonna get wet when it rains. No one's here right now. They had a couple electric buses the last two times I've been here, which has been interesting. But let's head over to the Supra charger and I'll show you a little bit about how that works. So over here is the Test Mega Power Charging. The, now the official name I think on their website is Supra Charger and they claim 420 kilowatts. I imagine that's just a higher voltage with also high amps. Now, most of the time, you know, you'll get to a 500 amp charger, for example, they can't always deliver that amperage at high voltage. So this, this is where I saw the buses plugged into today, at least, and they uh, probably wanna be doing that, but they call it the MPC, the mega power charging. <laughs> you can see just inside of the unit right here, some chains, cables, and then if you look all the way up, I assume the big charging components are up there. I believe they're all done in 35 kilowatt DC rectifiers that can be sh load shared across. There's some level two chargers over here, I believe 22 kilowatt AC charging. And these are four units, I think. Yes, so we can see ID4 on the good wheels that we don't get in the US, a Zoe, of course, and not that many AC charging points. And I think that makes sense. DC fast charging is more efficient and uh, faster. And what's interesting is this is very, very rare these have um, the cables on them for AC charging. Most stations in Europe, type two, you have to bring your own cable to connect the car to the station. Anyway, just look at this building. It's truly, truly insane. And uh, you know, 12 Tesla version three superchargers over here, which can charge other cars as well. It's a little bit more expensive. I don't remember. Anyway, the pricing is all bumped up a little bit more in Europe than it is for DC fast charging in the US, honestly, as it should be, which helps with the business case. But my goodness, I don't know how much it costs to install all of this, but I'm glad someone wrote the check. <laughs> if I could, I'd put these everywhere, but you guys got to watch some more videos before we even have our first one going in. Wow, this is just truly insane. So let me walk you through the process a customer would go through when they get here and how this all works. So from a customer experience standpoint, this is 100% the future. First of all, you have DC fast chargers everywhere. Now, everyone would think, hey, why don't we just do this? Well, this costs so much freaking money, you have no idea. Um, and, and also from an electricity standpoint, <laughs> this is just sort of a, a future experimental project. I can't imagine we'll be seeing these everywhere, but it's just truly, truly insane. So anyway, 70 plus DC fast chargers, all at least capable of 140 kilowatts. Again, these are branded at 35, but can be upped in the app to 140 at the more expensive uh, kilowatt hour rate. So you come up, you plug in, there's no app. Well, there is an app, but let's just say you don't have one. Uh, it actually starts charging instantly and it starts charging at about two kilowatts or so, two or three kilowatts. So it's just very, very slow charging. I guess, I don't know how long this goes until it times out, but if you're gonna leave the car all day, I guess you could just leave it there. That's not the intention though. The intention is to get the car starting to charge, sends the signal. Then what you can do is you can pay with a credit card inside. So you go, literally, you get out of the car, you walk inside and you can swipe your card. And I'll show you that entire process here momentarily. But this is so important because especially with so much travel across Europe, so much travel now from US viewers and, and Americans coming to Europe to drive electric cars, to rent them, to experience them, 
the most frustrating thing in the world is driving an electric car outside of your home market. For example, I can't download any European apps. I have no European credit cards, all of these things, right? Let's say this is the case, you're American. It's pretty much impossible to get around Europe without having European stuff. Now, thankfully, we know we're gonna be spending more time over here, so we're getting a new, you know, Euro-specific everything, separate devices, so we're fine, but this is a really big problem, especially we get messages all the time from Europeans who come to the US, same problem. Our apps are not available in the Euro App Store. Charging with a credit card is the key. So let me go show you the entire process of plugging in and paying for this charging. Now, if you wanted to, you could just plug in the car to uh, these charging posts here. This is our iWaze that we've been borrowing from iWaze. It's actually pretty neat. We will have a whole video on this. You plug in and then you can go in the app and we would type in S312 as an example, and then it would, boom, start charging through the app so we wouldn't have to go inside. But let me show you really the cool way that this works. I actually just ran the car one exit up and down the Autobahn at max speed with max heater. We're down to 85% because I had pretty much full charged it. I wanna show you the top of the building and literally get to the charging station just as someone would. So I just pulled off the Autobahn exit. Uh, I believe it's the eight, yes. Autobahn 8, and here's the roof of it. Look, it's a whole bunch of grass, water reclamation process. Really cool looking top of this, really beautiful looking charging station. Well, you join me over at the charging station. I'm not sure what this all says. Mm, digital infrastructure, something, something, I don't know. Okay, and we plug in. Now, I was gonna plug in one of the fast ones, but they seem to all be kind of just working on them. They said they work and we could, but uh, no problem. I was like, it's the same thing. So we have it all connected. S303 is our unit right here. You can see it's gone from green to blue and blue must mean it's communicating. So let's take a look inside the car here. It knows it's plugged in. Um, and what it should probably be doing is doing some sort of communication and then it needs to get the car charging because what happens is it could take, you know, a minute to go inside and figure out your payment and you don't want the car to time out from this plugging in. Some cars will fault if it's plugged in and it doesn't start charging in a certain amount of time. So it's smart that they just send a very, very low power signal. And you can see here, we're actually, yep, there we go. Charging up a little bit. You can see eight, nine amps going into it. At again, uh, voltage fast charging, 8.8 .8 amps. We're down to 85% state of charge. So really slow charging right now, but at least it's got some juice flowing into it. What we're gonna do is actually go inside and I'm gonna take you on a tour around inside because it's really cool. And then we're gonna pay for our charging. So I'm gonna go over this way. Take a look at this e Sitaro on the right, by the way. This is an electric bus with a pretty big battery pack. It's pretty sweet. And so now we head in, they have like an Amazon Dropbox over here, which is pretty cool. Through the doors we go, opening up, really beautiful lobby. And then we head to this machine where I'm going to select English, start charging. You can also do it, you know, through the e-loaded app, Sortimo Innovations Park. This is the name of the town that we're in that I can't pronounce, start charging. S303, it pops up with all the ones that have recently been connected that are in this communication phase. S303 connected. Be sure that the car is connected and slowly charging. It certainly is. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my credit card. I've been using my phone to tap, but I'm actually filming this. So we'll hit connect where we can choose, of course, either 35 kilowatts or 140. Well, the car can't really do too much over 35. Once we hit 90%, we're already at 85. So may as well do that. We can choose an automatic stop point. So we could say stop at, from, well, it's at 86 right now. So anywhere from where we are now to full, we'll go all the way to full. So we'll hit cancel on this. We'll go 100%. We'll hit pay. And now it says we'll block about 20 euros on your card, similar to like fueling with a gas pump. You'll only pay for the amount of energy consumed. Please use the payment terminal. Okay, inserted the card. Normally I just tap to pay with my phone. We'll go through this process here. It says payment, good. Payment completed. 
and everything seems to be nice now. So we're good here. What I'm gonna do is then run back out to the car. Let's make sure that we're getting more than eight or nine amps. And then I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of this innovations park. Walking back out to the car then, you can see this is where actually all of the charging work is done and these cabinets in here, and then they're fed over to the dispensers. Let's open up the door of the Iways U5 and take a look. Oh yes, 58 amps now, not crazy fast. Again, that's not a fault of the charging station. The car is just pretty high on charge, 86% but it's certainly taken a lot more <laughs> than otherwise. So pretty interesting that these are all 140 kilowatt capable and you can just pay to upgrade them. Or if you don't need the extra speed, may as well get the cheaper electricity at lower speed. I love this concept. And the thing is normally I'm not a fan of having lower power charging available, but with 75 DC fast charging pins available here, who cares? There's, let's see, that iways has been here this whole time. So I know that one's full charged. Uh, and there's no idle fees here because you pay with a credit card. So no idle fees, there's one Tesla and that's it. So of the 75 available chargers, pretty much two cars are accepting energy and i'm doing this just for a video <laughs> so sure have the slower charging at least for now if they choose at some point in the future that they just want to have these all be high power chargers they can certainly do that so since we're charging up let's go back inside i'm going to take you on a full tour so in we go through the doors again our payment terminal was just on the left if we head over this way let's take a look a nice little after hours area so this area is open 24 7 so worst case if you come in the middle of the night you can get yourself an espresso you can get some haribo gummy bears uh, you can get anything you'd like in this little unit which is pretty great they have some i don't know promotional things a full like rest station gift shop with wine and beer and a whole bunch of stuff which is really cool and then this entire bakery restaurant which is just absolutely insane. We had a couple meals here now, really good food, a little bit slow. So if you come here, I recommend using the 35 kilowatt charging, but then even just amazing outdoor area here. Let me show you here. Oh, might be closed at the moment, but yeah, just beautiful fields everywhere. Nice little place to come and eat. Let me show you the bakery. And then look at this bakery. They have a whole bunch of coffee, food, everything you could ever need right here. Uh, I was just editing videos right over here in this corner. It was wonderful. Now we're going out the side entrance back from where we pretty much started over here with the low power chargers. The iways is just over here to the left. And then the highway is just over there. Well, I think that's pretty much the tour of the coolest fast charging park in the world. <laughs> that at least I've been to. If you know of any that are better, let me know. We should go there and film them. This is just the craziest thing. And by the way, all this all this space up above is office space, at least on the other side. So, you know, we are thinking about doing some German channel stuff. So let us know if you think we should be uh, be here if we decide to have a physical location in Germany. I can't imagine a more perfect place. I've already reached out for more information. Thanks for watching another Out of Spec Reviews video. Thanks for joining me for a tour of the Sortimo Fast Charging Park. Just an incredible experience. And I uh, can't wait to see this place totally full. I'd love to stress test thing, this thing and get them all rocking at max power. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.